I was born 100 years ago, 1911. Another important thing happened that year. Three companies took a bold step and created the Computing Tabulating Recording Company. And the world was about to get a whole lot smarter. By 1912, the year I was born, the company already has 1,300 employees. 1913, the company's Hollerith tabulating machine, once used only in census taking, is now applied to industry. In 1914, 76 years before the American Disabilities Act was passed, they hire their first disabled worker. In 1915, the best man for the job of president is Thomas J. Watson. Mr. Watson believes that all the problems of the world can be settled easily if people are only willing to think. 1917, Brazil. 1918, 3,000 employees. Growth. 1919, the electronic synchronized time clock. The first printing tabulator. The job ticket printing machine. The Carroll Rotary Card Press. The electric key punch. By 1924, as a way to signal the company's future ambitions, Watson changes the name of the company to International Business Machines, IBM. In 1925, a tableware manufacturer installs the first IBM tabulating machine in Japan. Tabulating machine technology is so reliable, it's used well after the invention of the computer. I was born in 1927, and so is the automated gang punch. The 80-column IBM punch card. The first card counting printing sorter ships in 29. In 1930, Watson received his first patent for a traffic signal timing system. 1931, IBM introduces the automatic multiplying punch, the automatic reproducing punch, the first motor drive duplicating punch, and the first automatic summary punch. 31 was a big year for punches. In 1932, IBM starts an education department for employees and customers. The numeric printing tabulator. In 1934, IBM introduces group life insurance in the midst of the Great Depression. In 1935, IBM opens the first professional training school for women. 1936, Social Security. Many believed it wouldn't exist without IBM. It's called the biggest accounting operation of all time. 1937, IBM China. In 1938, millions of children first hear the phrase, please fill in the bubble completely, thanks to the IBM 805 International Test Scoring Machine. 1939, IBM demonstrates an early form of email at the New York World's Fair. 1940, a vacuum tube that processes information thousands of times faster than ever before. In 1941, IBM hires Dr. Michael Supa to make its products more usable by the visually impaired. Dr. Supa was blind. IBM believes in cultivating and developing the best talent in the world. That's why we introduced the Disabled Employee Training Program in 1942. In 1943, Ruth Leach becomes IBM's first female vice president. 1944 the automated sequence controlled calculator. The first Watson Scientific Lab opens in 1945 at Columbia University. T.J. Lester, IBM's first black sales representative, is hired in 1946. By the late 40s, IBM products are being used in 79 countries around the globe. They're really growing. The Selective Sequence Electronic Calculator, the first computer that can modify a stored program. The CARD Program, the Electronic Calculator. 1950, IBM's in Israel. In 1951, we started work on the IBM 701, the world's first mass-produced computer. It's the machine that carries us into the electronics business. In 1952, IBM Chairman Thomas J. Watson hands the reins over to his son, Thomas J. Watson, Jr and the modern corporation continues to evolve. In 1953, Watson Jr. issues the company's first equal opportunity policy letter. The Civil Rights Act comes over a decade later. 
I was born in 1954. That same year, an IBM computer translates Russian into English. A first. 1955年 IBM の700に電子データプロセスマシンが誕生しました。Ram back. 1957 Fortran. Watson Jr. hires the best architects and designers in the world to work with IBM. Good design is good business. More affordable and easier to use than anything before it, the IBM 1401 is the first computer in the world to sell 10,000 units. 1960, the stretch computing system. 1961, la machine à écrire électrique, Unicorn. In 1962, IBM develops the Sabre reservation system for American Airlines. What once took hours can now be done in real time. The following year, in one of the riskiest decisions ever made in business, Watson Jr. puts the future of the company on the IBM system 3. The system 360 takes several years and five billion dollars to develop. Making it the largest privately financed commercial project in history. For the first time, the power of computing is accessible to organizations of all sizes. In 1966, IBM researcher Robert Dinard invents DRAM, memory on a chip. Eventually, billions would be produced. 1967, Benoit Mandelbrot. He invents fractal geometry, and a new branch of mathematics is born. By 1968, IBM's 10-year partnership with America's space program is converging on their ultimate mission. As we explore the regions of space, let us go to the new worlds together. Not as new worlds to be conquered, but as a new adventure to be shared. Il database relazionale rivoluziona il modo in cui i dati sono accumulati e processati. 1971. IBM's first automated teller machine was introduced in June of 72. In 1973, IBM introduces the UPC barcode. 1974. Systems network architecture. 1975. The IBM 5100. The first portable computer. Kinda. 1976. The first laser printer. IBM's data encryption standard revolutionizes the way information is protected. IBM introduces the first mini computer to feature a built-in relational database. The first Kanji computer terminal is introduced in 79, the year I was born. RISC. It's invented by IBM in 1980, and it's still the basis of most microprocessors today. IBM introduces the personal computer. We expect to sell 240,000 units. We sell two million over the next three years. The Tokyo Research Lab opens in 1982. IBM introduces the System 36, an easy-to-use business computer featuring 2,800 help screens. Is a one million bit memory chip possible? In 1984, it is. 1985, John Akers becomes IBM's seventh CEO. 1986. Gerd Binning and Heinrich Rohr become the second and third IBMers to win the Nobel Prize. The first was Leo Wasaki. 1987, Georg Bernhardt and Alex Müller win for their durchbruch in high temperature superlightweight. 1988, AS400, silicon germanium chips. 1990, what does an IBM scientist do to prove he can move atoms? He rearranges them to form the letters IBM. IBM researchers invent a computer chip that can move 8 billion bits of information in a single second. ThinkPad. The early 90s, tough times for IBM. Some people wonder if the company is going to make it, but in 1993, Lou Gerstner arrives and takes IBM in a whole new direction. IBM refocuses everyone on the customer. How? Solutions. Systems. Software. Services. E-business. By 1997, IBM is back. The same year, IBM's Deep Blue defeats the reigning grand champion of chess. A thrilling win for IBM's Deep Blue. IBM embraces Linux, and the era of open source innovation is born. 
The President of the United States awards the National Medal of Technology to IBM, the seventh they received so far. Carbon nanotubes. Millipede technology stores 3 billion bits in a space this big. In 2003, Sam Palmasano becomes the big boss. The world will soon become smaller and flatter. The world community grid. Blue Jean, the fastest computer ever. This computer speaks English. Patents, patents, patents. Mortal Planet. All the settings. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. After a century of innovation, it's After a century of innovations, we're just getting started. A hundred is a big, big number. What will the next hundred years bring? I use the past to predict the future. I'm working on the next big breakthrough. In 10 years, supercomputers could use 10 times less power and run a thousand times faster. I'll be able to sequence a genome so we can create personalized medicine. The whole world is data. I'm using data to help detect the onset of disease. I've discovered a way to build curiosity into the system. I'm working on a system that can think like you. Thank you. We've always been working for the future. That's what I'm working on. That's what I'm working on. That's what I'm working on. I'm an IBMer. I'm an IBM. I'm an IBM. I'm an IBMer. I'm an I think that, uh, that you have to have more than just a machine. We must study through listening, observing, and thinking. All of the problems of the world could be settled easily if men were only willing to think.